Hi, this is Tanya Weir with Spunky Cards and I'm so glad you're joining me for this video. I am going to show you how I made this card. This card has two separate stars. There's the Punch Art Pumpkin and then the Brayer background and I'm going to show you how to do both. To make this video a little bit shorter, I've already prepared a few things. Number one, I've already cut our Lucky Limeade cardstock and our background and also our focal point. Our piece right here, the Whisper White cardstock, measures 2 3 4 by 3. And then I just cut the Cherry Cobbler background a half inch larger, so it is 3 by um, 3 and a quarter. And that will frame our picture very nicely. Also, I have gone ahead and cut out the leaves that we're going to put underneath our pumpkin. And I did that with a two-step bird punch, and I just cut the leaf. All right, so let's put together the pumpkin first and then we're gonna brayer the background. Or shall we do the brayer first? Let's do the brayer. Okay, here's our piece. And we are going to make the background in two colors. I have green on the bottom and red on the top. And we're using the stamp pads for our cardstock. Cherry Cobbler and Lucky Limeade. And so we're going to ink up our brayer in these two colors. I actually do them separately. Um, if you have a rainbow pad, you could roll them at the same time. But this way, I can choose any color I want. I want half of my brayer to be green. So I'm going to ink it up. And I just keep rolling to grab as much ink as possible. And if you notice, I go in one direction, pick up, and come back over here. Because if I just go back and forth, then I'm going to actually um, not necessarily get the color evenly on the brayer all over. And then when I'm ready for my second color, can you see where I have the green already? and I'm going to pick up the red right here and I'm going to work on leaving about a quarter inch in between. When I first started I had more than a quarter inch and then I'll also come back over here. But I don't want to get the green color of the brayer into my red ink pad. So this takes a little bit of patience. And like I said before, I come down here, I pick up, and I start over up here. And if you look really closely, you can see that I have lines here that are the lines from the edge of the stamp pad. And those we want to get rid of. So now we need a smooth um, surface that will not soak up any ink. So when I first started, I used wax paper. I have used tiles. If they're nice and smooth, you can use tiles. Most of the time, I just use my stamp magic And I am just going back and forth to get the ink on here, to smooth it out on the brayer. And then I'm going to go ahead and move by a quarter inch to start blending in the lines so that we get a little bit of a blend. And the reason that's there is because my um, stamp magic is not clean all the way on the bottom as you can tell. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to grab me some more ink. As you can tell I've done this a few times because I'm going fairly fast. And then I come back to blend. And then when I'm happy I just put that aside. Grab my piece of paper Start on one side and roll to the other. And I have a beautiful dual color background. So that's that. We are already ready to assemble our card here. Grab some snail adhesive and put that on our cherry cobbler cardstock. And I like to have the green side down. When I make my cards and I score, I sometimes have a little um, difference in the size. 
So this piece here is a tad bit shorter than that. I like to have the long side as my card front. And now it's up to you here. I got my card landscape. Let's make this one portrait. And then I'm going to grab my two-way glue pen. And I want these little leaves underneath my pumpkin. And you can make your pumpkin first and attach it first before you add your leaves. And now these I'm going to turn around so that they go the other way. Oops, glue on the bottom. And as you can tell, I like to get my glue on the first three leaves and leave, let this, leave out the last one because then these glue down and that one curls up a little bit. I dropped the leaf. And that just adds a little bit more depth and 3D effect to the card if the leaves pop up a little bit. All right. Let's make the pumpkin. I have used my large oval punch, which measures 2 by 1 3 8 inches, to cut out three pumpkin pie um, pieces of cardstock. And these two I've already sponged because I like to have depth to mine, so I sponge just about all of my punch art if possible. And now we're already ready for our pumpkin. And pumpkins are great because you can make them nice and fat or you can make them very skinny. So let's make this one skinny. And so I'm going to grab some right nail right here and put that right there. And if you would like your pumpkin to be completely symmetrical, more power to you. Mine are always a little bit crooked and it doesn't really bother me because in real life, pumpkins are never symmetrical. And then we need something that pokes out just a little bit for the top. So I'm going to just grab me a piece of chocolate chip cardstock and kind of like a carrot's nose triangle. But then I'm going to curve the top. And I'm just freehanding that with my scissors. Here, let me put that down for you on the paper here. Do you see that curvature right there? That really makes the pumpkin. So I'm going to put my glue down here, pick that up with my pumpkin. And attach it with a Stampin' Dimensional to pop it up off the cart. And before I pull that up, I'm going to look and I'm like, oh, I like it. I could have put these a little bit further down. If you attach your pumpkin first, then um, you will be sure that your pumpkin doesn't come off the background. Anyways, this is a beautiful little fall card with a pumpkin. You can put happy birthday on the bottom or thinking of you or any stamp set that you would like. This is a great all-around card. Thanks for watching me. This is Tanya Weir. My blog is www.spunkycards.com. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get the latest videos anytime or even better yet, Subscribe to my mailing list because in just a few days, the 12 weeks for Christmas starts with weekly projects in, the, um, in your inbox for me once a week until Christmas. That's it. Thank you much. Bye-bye.